Hello everyone, this is Mohamad Dinatullah from the Sai Mehta Institute, Koti, Hyderabad. So as we have started the video lectures of the shortcuts in the limits. Now in this video also we are going to see some other shortcut related to the limits. And I want to remind you that Sai Mehta is providing the ESET 2023 online course at only 3,333 rupees. If you want any more information regarding the, uh, this course means you can contact to the given numbers. Now let us see over here. Limit x tends to 0, mth root of a plus x power n minus mth root of a minus x power n divided by x power n. So, first let us discuss about the conditions of this shortcut, okay. When we can use, okay, when we can use this shortcut over here. So, first what we are having limits should be x tends to 0. Now, what we are having over here, mth root, mth root and mth root means roots should be same. If it is square root means it should be square root for this part as well as for this part also and if it is uh, having cube root means for this part also it should be cube root okay so mth root and mth roots roots should be same after that x power n x power n and x power n should be same what are the x powers we are having suppose if we are taking this part as a x square we have taken so this part should be x square this part should be x square as well as the denominator should also be x square is it clear and a value we are having a value we are having this positive part it is having the plus sign the negative negative part it is having the minus sign negative sign okay so these are the conditions we have to remember so if all these conditions are applicable is satisfied then we can write the direct answer as what 2 divided by m into a power 1 minus 1 by m what it is 2 divided by m into a power 1 minus 1 by m okay we have to remember this formula that's it now let us see this question over here what we are having limit x tends to 0 square root of 2 plus x minus square root of of 2 minus x divided by x. Let us see the conditions first. So, which root we are having? Square root, square root. This condition is satisfied. Now, next x, x and x. We are having the same x powers also. A value is also same. Okay. Now, what we can write the direct answer as first we have to write 2 over here. 2 divided by. Now, what is the m value? Which root it is? It is square root. Square root means m value it is equal to 2 we have taken. Okay. Now, next into a power, what is a value we are having? A value it is equals to 2. Now, to the power of 1 minus 1 by, again m value means 2. So, this 2, 2 gets cancelled. It is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 means 1 by 2. 2 power 1 by 2 means what we can write? Root 2. Okay. So, the direct answer will be what? 1 by root 2. Okay. Now, next question. Limit x tends to 0. We are having this part cube root of 7 plus x power 7 minus cube root of 7 minus x power 7 divided by x power 7 over here. Now, again let us check the conditions. What are the conditions we are having? Cube root, cube root. Okay, roots are same. Next part, x power 7, x power 7, x power 7, it is also same. And a value, it is equals to 7. Okay, now let us apply this part. First, we have to write it as 2, 2 divided by. Now, what is m value? m value means which root it is over here? 3. Okay, so we have written 3 into. Now, a we have tried. What is a value we are having? 7. Okay, 7 to the power of 1 minus 1 by m. m means 3. It is equals to 2 divided by 3 into 7. 1 minus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3 means what we can write? 2 by 3. Okay. So, this will be the answer. Now, next part. Limit x tends to 0. Root square root of 5 minus x square minus square root of 5 plus x square divided by x square we are having. Okay. So, we are having the square roots for both these terms over here. Square roots we are having and x square, x square, x square part is same and we are having the a value is equals to 5. Okay, but one thing is different over here. What we have discussed about the signs, this positive part, it should be having the positive value, means plus sign, uh, plus sign should be there. And this negative part, it should be having the negative value, minus sign should be there. But over here, in our question, what we are having, this minus negative part, it is having the positive sign, positive part, it is having the negative sign. So, signs are reversed over here, opposite. So, what we have to do, we have to take a minus as common. So, whenever we are taking minus as common, means what we can write, minus we have taken then 2 divided by 2 divided by now what is m value which root it is 
2 so we have written 2 into a value what is a value we are having 5 we have written 5 next 1 minus 1 by m means 2 it is equals to what we can write this 2 2 gets cancelled so minus 1 by 5 power 1 minus 1 by 2 1 minus 1 by 2 means 1 by 2 5 power 1 by 2 means root 5 so what we are getting the answer as minus 1 by root 5 so, this shortcut is applicable only for these conditions, whenever these conditions are applicable, mth root, mth root, x power n, x power n, x power n and a values should be same. But whenever we are not having the same roots over here, if you are not having the same roots, if this x powers are not same, then what we have to do, how we have to solve that questions, we are having the shortcut for that part also, okay. So, after this, we are going to discuss the shortcut about whenever we are not getting the same roots or same x powers means, we will discuss that part. Now, let us see the shortcut for whenever we are having the different roots as well as the different x powers also, okay. Now, uh, what is our first question over here? Limit x tends to 0, square root of 1 minus x square minus root of 1 plus x square divided by 2x square is given. So, it is exactly same like that only we can apply that to TSR means that a shortcut also by taking 1 by 2 as constant, okay. But, how we can solve with this new shortcut over here? What we have to do? Now, we are having one... Uh, part over here 1 plus x whenever we are having 1 plus x whole power n it is equals to we have to write this part as 1 plus n x how we are writing 1 plus n x actually we will be having the expansion of this part expansion series will be there 1 plus n x then plus n into n minus 1 into x square by 2 factorial plus so on expansion will be there but whenever we are having the limit if you are applying the shortcut part for this only we are concentrating on this part itself 1 plus n x okay and and whenever we are having 1 minus x whole power n means how we can write 1 minus n x that is it. If it is 1 plus x whole power n means 1 plus n x, 1 minus x whole power n means 1 minus n x. Okay? Now, let us see this part. How we can convert this part square root of 1 minus x square we are having? Square root means what we can write? We can write it as whole power 1 by 2. Okay? So, this part we are writing it as what? 1 minus x square whole power 1 by 2 and this part can be written as 1 plus x square whole power 1 by 2. Okay? We have converting this part. We have to convert it to whole power like that. So, whenever we are converting it to whole power means what we have to take actually from that? That is n value. Okay? Now, let us uh, uh, start this part. Limit x tends to 0 we have taken. So, this 1 minus x square 1 minus x square whole power 1 by 2 means how we have to write 1 minus x whole power n is equal to 1 minus nx that is it. So, we are writing this part as 1 minus what is n value we are having 1 by 2 into x in the place of x what we are having x square okay this part is completed. Now, next we are having the minus sign over here we are having the minus sign. Now, next part what will happen? 1 plus x square whole power 1 by 2. Whenever it is 1 plus x whole power n means we have to write it as 1 plus n x. So, we are writing this part as 1 plus. What is n value we are having? 1 by 2 into x means we are having x square. Okay? But whenever we are opening with this minus sign means multiplying with the minus sign, this part will become minus as well as this part also will become minus divided by what else we are having? 2 x square. Okay. Now, what will happen? This plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. It is equals to, it is equals to, what is left now? Limit x tends to 0. This minus 1 by 2 x square minus 1 by 2 x square means what we can write? We can write it as minus x square divided by, we are having this part as a 2 x square. This x square x square gets cancelled. We are getting the answer as minus 1 by 2. That is it. So, whenever we are getting the root parts over here, whole power n means what we have to do only for roots. Whenever we are getting the roots, whole power n form means what we are writing, we are writing it as 1 plus nx and 1 minus nx. That is it. Okay. If you are having the root part, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, like that. Now, next limit x tends to 0, cube root of 1 plus sin x minus cube root of 1 minus sin x divided by x is given. So, for this part also, let us write it as limit x tends to 0. Okay, limit x tends to 0. This part can be written as what? 1 plus nx. 1 plus, what is n value we are having? 1 by 3 into sin x we have taken. Okay, next part we are having minus over here. Then 1 minus means 1 minus nx we have to write. So, we are writing this part as 1 minus n means 1 by 3. x means we are having this part as sin x. So, whenever we are opening or multiplying with the minus sign means this part will become minus and this part will become plus 
divided by what we are having in the denominator x okay so this plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled so it is equals to limit x tends to 0 now 1 by 3 sin x plus 1 by 3 sin x 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 means what we can write 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 sin x divided by what we are having x so as 2 by 3 is constant 2 by 3 is constant we are writing as it is now next what will happen sin x by x sin x by x it is equals to 1 so the answer will be equals to 2 by 3 okay now next part limit x tends to 0 under root 1 plus 2x minus under root 1 minus 2x divided by sin x is given so let us apply this as shortcut for this part also limit x tends to 0 and this part how we are writing 1 plus nx what is n value we are having 1 by 2 into x means 2x this part we have completed now next to what we are having minus now 1 minus nx 1 minus n value is equals to 1 by 2 into x means 2x we are having okay so if you are opening or multiplying with the minus sign means what will happen this part will become minus this part will become plus divided by this sin x we are writing as it is okay so what will happen this plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled this 2 2 gets cancelled 2 2 gets cancelled it is equals to limit x tends to 0 now what is left over here x plus x x plus x means 2x so we are writing this part as 2x divided by sin x we have taken okay so 2 is constant we can write 2 as it is over there okay 2 is constant now what is left x by sin x is left but we are having the standard limit as a sin x by x whenever limit x tends to 0 sin x by x it is equals to 1 okay sin x by x it is equal to 1 but we are having the reciprocal of that part over here reciprocal means what we can do x by sin x means the answer also we have to do reciprocal what is the reciprocal of 1 1 only so 2 into 1 means answer it is equals to 2 okay what we are getting the answer it is equals to 2 now next part last question limit x tends to 0 2 power x minus 1 divided by under root 1 plus x minus 1 is given okay now before opening this part before applying the shortcut for this root 1 plus x what we are doing means if you are seeing the numerator part carefully if you are seeing the numerator part carefully what it is it is in the form one formula one one more shortcut we are having what it is a power x minus 1 by x but denominator we are not having okay so a power x minus 1 by x means we can write it as log a but what we are doing means as we are not having the denominator over here so first let us divide both numerator and the denominator by x so what will happen this part will become limit x tends to 0 this part will be 2 power x minus 1 by x divided by under root 1 plus x minus 1 by x okay we have written like this now next what will happen if you are applying the limit for this part we can apply the limit for numerator as well as denominator separately if you are applying the limit for this numerator means what will happen so it is equals to we can write this part as a log 2 divided by okay now how we have to solve this part under root 1 plus x means we can write it as 1 plus n what is n value 1 by 2 x 1 plus 1 by 2 x we have taken and this is minus 1 divided by x we have taken and we have to apply the limits over here limit x tends to 0 so what will happen this plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled it is equals to log 2 we are having over here divided by 1 by 2 x 1 by 2 x divided by x we are having so what will happen again this x this x gets cancelled now what is left 1 by 2 which is equals to 2 log 2 okay what is the final answer 2 log 2 or else we can write it as log 2 square means log 4 so the for, uh, final answer for this question is 2 log 2 so with this we have completed the two shortcuts over here first shortcut was whenever we are having the conditions means mth root mth root then x power n x power n x power n and a value should be same if that conditions are satisfied then we can use the formula as 2 divided by m into a power 1 minus 1 by m okay now second shortcut what is the second shortcut over here if we are not having the same roots m, m roots we are not having and uh, x powers are not same then what we have to do 1 plus x whole power n it is equal so directly we have to write it as actually we, we are having this expansions no need to concentrate on whole that part whole series or whole expansion 
as we are discussing the shortcuts over here, we have to concentrate upon only this part. If it is 1 plus x whole power n means it is equal to 1 plus nx. 1 minus x whole power n means it is equal to 1 minus nx. Okay. So, with this we have completed the shortcuts, this shortcut, two shortcuts in the topic limits. Thank you very much.